Hello, this is Mike Johnson taking you on an inside and outside systems tour. This is a 2014 Toyota Sienna Limited Premium with the all-wheel drive and the convenience package, the appearance package. It's got all kinds of bells and whistles on it. So let's cover those in this video and I have a separate video where I cover the condition which is basically as close to perfect as you can get on the outside for a used car. It's really clean, clean, clean car. Cosmetically, it's exceptional appearance on the exterior. These vans, a lot of the vans, they become secondhand. They get all scratched up and banged up, but this one is looks like a showroom piece. And this one has never been owned by an individual before. This is this was a Toyota company car, a factory owned uh, demonstration vehicle. It may have been assigned to a Toyota executive. And it's loaded with features which I'm going to cover here, starting as I push buttons here. You can uh, pay attention. It has power operating doors. Notice we have both key fobs included with this vehicle. A power rear hatch. It has double uh, power sunroofs front and rear power sunroofs. It's got buttons everywhere to operate the doors and it's even got a button to disable the doors so they have to be worked manually. So very very good looking vehicle. It looks like brand new. Hard to tell the difference from the outside for sure. And the inside is very clean as well. So this has a couple features that I'm going to point out before we go inside and just point out other features. I mentioned the power operating doors. They open and close from the remote. They open and close from the driver's seat or from various uh, door handles and switches. has a smart key system with touch sensors on the door handle. So all you got to do to lock it, you just touch here and the car's locked. This one has the $600 remote engine starter. So you press lock, lock, and hold lock and it starts the engine from the outside of the vehicle and it'll run for several, several minutes. That's a $600 option. It's a Toyota accessory, so most of them don't have remote engine start. This is a special thing that this one has. Okay. On 2012 and older, the, the, there's another feature that this one has that they did not have. Got wet. This is freshly waxed, by the way. This has blind spot monitor radar. So radar blind spot monitor system on this vehicle. And then um, with the blind spot monitor radar, you have a condition where your blind spot radar is scanning the right side of the vehicle or the left side and a vehicle is approaching from either side. For example, if you're in the driveway on a busy street somewhere and you want to back out of the driveway as vehicles are approaching, the radar will detect vehicle up to about 100 feet away approaching at speed and give you a warning that it's detecting these vehicles. That's different. That's not, I'm not talking about this parking sonar. It has that as well. This is for close distance up to a few inches away from the bumper. This has front and rear close sensing parking sonar but this other system this radar blind spot monitor with cross traffic alert is a 2013 or newer uh, feature that actually you know a vehicle is driving on the freeway approaching you on the side it'll blink a light on your mirror and let you know or uh, if you're going to change lanes it'll let you know if somebody's in your blind spot it'll flash the little light on your mirror to warn you this does have the wheel locks it has run flat tires. The tires are in excellent tread. Again, I have another video where I cover the uh, condition of the video, the vehicle. It looks really nice. It does have the chrome lower body accent molding and the mud guards, so you can go drive through mud and it's going to resist splashing all over the sides because of the mud guard kit. It is an all-wheel drive. This is a 4x4 vehicle, so you can drive it in the snow without putting tire chains on. If you live near the mountains, like right here, we have big mountains behind us. You can drive up in the mountains 
you have to have chains in the vehicle but you don't have to put the chains on because you have the all-wheel drive that's really nice feature most of the siennas are not all-wheel drive but sienna is the only van available with all-wheel drive and this one has it they're very rare in southern california to find them with the all-wheel drive and anywhere where you do find the all-wheel drive it's really hard to find them in really good condition because they're usually all scratched up because they're they people buy the all-wheel drive for severe driving conditions as a matter of life and death so not to crash okay so some of the all-wheel drive secondhand vehicles get all chewed up on the outside now this one looks perfect i'm not saying they never scratched it this was a toyota factory demonstration vehicle sometimes they're made so because they were maybe damaged in shipping or something and then repaired so that may have had shipping damage that was fixed minor stuff because the carfax on this is clean it doesn't show any accidents shipping damage usually doesn't show up on the you know if they another vehicle bumped into it in the parking lot or something that doesn't show up on the carfax but then they can't sell them as new so they make them company demonstrators instead Again, it's got the power, tilt, and slide double uh, sunroofs on this vehicle. The sunroof number one, sunroof number two. In-dash navigation system with live traffic. If I look over there, you see there's green stripes along the freeway. That's your live traffic information. That is working correctly. And then uh, as I go to press uh, to DVD, I can watch the DVD on the front screen right here. I've got satellite radio. So there's your uh, DVD playback right there on the dash screen. We're talking about all the features on this video. For the more about the condition inside and out, I'm going to have another video. But... Uh, so the signal mirrors, you have blind spot monitor. See this little light right there that comes on indicating somebody's in your blind spot. It's got outside heated mirrors. This van has 27,000 miles. It has the rain sensing windshield wipers. This extra bumps on the windshield there, that's your rain sensor for the rain sensing windshield wipers. And this bump right here is your forward camera. This has automatic high beams that automatically darken when you're driving. This has the, uh, they call it the convenience package, which includes HID xenon headlights and rain sensing windshield wipers. Most of the Sienna Limiteds do not have that. And the lower models like XLE never have that. Okay, it's a limited only feature. And you can spot that because you have a little wheel right here to change the headlight aiming from zero to five. Five would point your headlights down five degrees. You normally would leave it at zero, but let's say you're driving and there's trick-or-treaters out and you don't want to blind all the little kids in front of your car so you can aim the headlights down and still drive at night because they are really bright. Uh, this has a driver programmable memory. A uh, limited model only has the programmable memory seats. Okay, so I mentioned this as the navigation system. It's got the DVD video entertainment system. And the DVD is a double wide factory system playing on uh, extra wide screen. And we can change how wide it displays. And if you're stopped with the parking brake on, you can watch the whatever's playing on the front screen. But if you release the parking brake or speeds over one or two miles an hour, you can't see the picture anymore okay you can load cds into the dash here this holds four cds right here in the dash there's a cd slot right there you can load it right in there and then tilt the screen away most of the siennas that you'll see they just have a cd slot in the top and a much smaller navigation this is the larger much larger easy to read uh, navigation system it has a very advanced uh, backup camera 
most of the Siennas now, all of the, pretty much most all of the 2011 and newer body style have backup camera. But this has the upgraded panorama view backup camera. So I'm going to show, I show in my pictures, but you've got two settings here. This is a 180 degree field of view. So you can see from 180 to 180. And this is a conventional backup camera view. You can change that. So that's standard backup view or ultra wide backup view. So if you're in a parking lot and you look on your left and you can't see if there's any cars or people, you can use the backup camera combined with a blind spot monitor and see a 180 degree field of view. Okay, and those are moving guidelines. So if I turn my steering wheel, the guidelines move left or right. And you can change the way you want the guidelines to display like that or like that or with the active guidelines. Works really good. Now, let's say I was backing up and the vehicle was approaching, the blind spot monitor cross traffic alert would go beep beep, beep beep, beep beep. It would give me a warning that somebody was approaching. That works really good. I'm gonna try to put some additional videos that explain how that works uh, in some of my listings. Can't put them everywhere, but I put them a few of them here and there. Okay. So this is the premium JBL audio system with the better speakers. It's got all the good stuff on it. Uh, full screen. And then uh, play. I have the DVD remote right here. I've got the genuine Toyota two channel wireless headphones. It's two channel, you can watch a video game at the same time you're watching a movie. Uh, we want um, widescreen, so we're playing the movie. It's got a lot of cup holders in here. There's at least 14 cup holders in this vehicle, and I got my big thermal insulated cup. You've got extra cup holders right here. In the center console, you've got a sliding cup holder because these seats are on tracks. And again, this is a very, very clean vehicle. I do have all the books and manuals, so you can read up on how to use everything. It has dual glove boxes. Uh, 5.1 home theater surround sound, so there's a, just like your home theater system, this is a 5.1 uh, multiple stereo system, multi-speaker stereo system with a subwoofer. Uh, change holder some places those are critical I don't need them but when you go outside the area sometimes you need them this is the limited so it's got the seven passenger seating with the rear lounge seats these are recliners so you can release these and those come up they recline they slide forward and back and they're on tracks and the armrest can go up or lock into position um, Let's go around back here. I did mention there's a power rear hatch. I've already showed you that. But you can just reach it and open it or hit the button and close it. It's got side window shades, which I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to pop in the seat here. You got a little button right there to operate the power doors. All the kids use those buttons. The windows go down in the second row power doors and then you've got these side window shades that go up okay so that you got little kids back here little infants in car seats have trouble turning their heads to avoid the sun shining in their eyes so this helps them out a lot so that's your DVD video entertainment system uh, again this screen splits so you can have like a v the the movie on one side or movie on the other side in a video game playing at the same time if I hold this just right, this has a 110 volt power and a video input. So you can plug in a laptop or a video game right there. It's got a power inverter, video game ports. So you can bring the PlayStation or the Xbox or the whatever game console. Bring a second DVD player if you want and watch two movies at the same time. And the kids can listen on the headphones to two different channels 
at the same time. So one kid can watch one with their own headphones and the other watch the other. It's really nice and convenient. Again, the uh, tilt and slide power moonroof has its own control right here. And they do have shades. I have all the interior lights switched off right now, which saves battery life if you're at the soccer game or whatever. There is, I don't have it on right now, but there's accent lighting, blue accent lighting, which you can turn on or off right up here. I have everything in battery saver mode. These go up and down for comfort. I'm going to have to wrap it up because I'm running out of things to explain. And my video is getting too long. But these seats, unlike Honda's or other brands, these seats slide forward and backward. And then you have the third row seat. Now I would like to point out this is not a power third row seat. This is an all-wheel drive. You got two options with the Sienna Limited. You can get the Sienna Limited two-wheel drive with a power third row seat or the all-wheel drive does not come with a power third row seat. It's got to do with the weight of the vehicle. There's extra weight back there. The seats are heavier in the power folding seat. So they don't put the power folding third row seat in the all-wheel drive. So if you've got to have the power folding third row seat, you can't have the all-wheel drive and vice versa. If you've got to have the all-wheel drive, you cannot have the power folding third row seat. That's just the way they've been building these cars. Uh, that's been true for the generation 2005. Well, actually, power third row seat came out in 2006 through 2009 same scenario and then 2011 through uh, current 2015 is the same way my name is Mike Johnson give me a call 951-681-2101 here is the VIN number the last three digits are 226 2014 Toyota Sienna Limited all-wheel drive thank you